Hey, this is Scott with the Scotch Test Dummies, continuing a uh, quick hitter review series on Irish whiskeys. Again, my wife has taken to Irish whiskeys. She never has really drank whiskey. She started liking Irish whiskeys because every once in a while I'd be like, here, taste this, try this one, nose this one. Her reactions went from, ooh, that's gross, to, okay, that one's not too bad. That was Red Breast Lustau. Now, uh, I can't hardly keep Red Breast 15 on hand uh, for her taste buds. Likewise, she goes to the store, she picks up something, she's buying me Irish whiskeys. I had several of them stacking up. Uh, it was going to take a while for Bart and I to get to them. This is one that she picked up for me actually on New Year's Eve, but this is the Hyde 10 year, and this is an older bottling. This one's been in the liquor store for a while. Uh, bottled in 2015, but this is from their President's Casks. It's a 10-year, 46% ABV, a little bit higher for an Irish whiskey. We like to see that. And they make two versions of this. So there's the sherry cask and there's a rum cask. And I did see the rum cask just show up the other day as well, so I don't know if that's a new run or if that's an old bottling that was found somewhere. Uh, sherry cask, this is kind of a double casking. In other words, it's spent most of its time in ex-bourbon casks and then is moved to sherry casks to be finished. So, let's find out on the Hyde 10. I know I've tasted this. I like it. Woo! A little bit higher ABV for an Irish whiskey that hits you on the nose. There was nice vanillas and fruits in there with it. Honeydews. Cantaloupe. Different melons. Raspberries. It's a fruit basket. Wow. Mangoes. Very nice. Woo. Boy, that has really nice. That has probably the best nose of those I've done in the series so far. Really nice. Rich. Sweet. Fruity Trini and C's coin. If you don't watch Trini and C, check them out. It's like a bizarro world, uh, Barton Scott. Hmm, that's very nice. Well, I like that nose. Hmm, mm hmm. Wow, definitely the most depth on the palate of those I've tried so far in this series. Um, to a little more dew behind it. Not far. Rich. Yeah, the sherry finish is there. Now, when I get a lot of times with Irish whiskeys and a triple distillation, sherry casking, I get a rose petal finish. Um passion fruit. At first, I didn't care for it years ago. I've grown to like it. It's here, but it's very slight. It's on the tail end, very back end of your tongue on the finish. Nice caramels, oak, and those fruits. And look, this is a single malt as well. Very nice. Mm. If you find the Hyde 10 Sherry Cask Finish, President's Cask, pick it up. These are a little bit pricier, though, too. I know these are in the $70 range, which actually in our area, uh, most of your um, Irish whiskeys that are having an older age statement from 12, 14 years, are going to be in that range, if not higher. And this is a 10-year. 46% though is really boosting it up. It's really helping. Red breasts are going to be in that price range. Atola Mordu is in that price range. Uh, green spot, ye yellow spot is higher in our area. So for what you're getting, uh, and if there's a little bit of variance there, you know, maybe in your area this is $50, maybe it's $80. It's very good. I would definitely buy this again. 
and I would go, I'm thinking almost a 91, maybe a 92. It is non-chill filtered. I didn't see that on the label. Uh, nothing about coloring. I don't know where we're at there. So, hmm. Very nice. Uh, Hide 10, President's Cask, Sherry Finish. Pick it up if you find it. Slauncher. Dummies. <laughs>